Hello, welcome to the live lab of the Glasgow Science Centre. My name is Craig and today I'm going to dissect these lungs for you. Now, these aren't human lungs, but they're sheep's lungs. And the reason we use sheep's lungs is because they have a similar structure to human lungs. And that structure is called the bronchial tree. But before we get into our dissection, what do we already know about our lungs? Our lungs are located in our chest and inflate and deflate using a muscle called the diaphragm. Inside our lungs, a gas exchange takes place, where the oxygen that we breathe in is replaced by carbon dioxide as we breathe out. The bronchial tree contains the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles and the alveoli, all of which we will show during our dissection. So the first part of the bronchial tree is called the trachea. Here is the trachea of our sheep's lungs, and you can actually feel your own trachea if you were to run a finger down the front of your throat like that. You feel lots of bumps and ridges. Those ridges are made out of a tissue called cartilage. Now this cartilage plays a very important role in our breathing because if it wasn't in the trachea and we tried to breathe air into our lungs, the, the pressure of the air passing through our lungs would actually completely close up our trachea and that means we wouldn't be able to breathe. So if I were to remove the trachea, like so, we find that it's actually quite flexible, it's quite bendy like that, quite flexible, quite bendy, and uh, we can also see that the cartilage doesn't actually go all the way around the trachea, it actually sits in a little C shape, like that. And the reason for this is actually to make room for another uh, tube in our throat, our food pipe, which is called the esophagus. So the next part of our bronchial tree is called the bronchi. We have one bronchus that goes to our right lung and the other bronchus goes down to our left lung. And these are the two main branches of our bronchial tree. So if I continue to cut down our trachea, eventually we see the two openings for our two bronchi. So we have one that's down on the left hand side and one that's down on the right hand side. So if we carry on down one bronchus, we find our bronchial tree splits into further branches and these are called bronchioles. So if I continue to cut down, our left bronchus, hopefully we'll see different openings. And these are the openings of each of our bronchioles. We can also show you a cross section of our bronchial tree just by removing the bottom of the left lung. So here we can see the end of one of the bronchus, but there you can easily see there's other bronchioles that are around in our bronchial tree as well. Eventually, the bronchioles become so small that they can only be seen under a microscope. And at this point, they become alveoli, which are the tiny air sacs at the end of our bronchial tree. Attached to the alveoli are capillaries, which is where the fresh oxygen is passed into our bloodstream and finally pumped around our body using our heart. So there you go, the bronchial tree. If you like what you've seen, you can come to Glasgow Science Centre and see lung dissections for yourself and you can also make your very own set of lungs. You can also have a look at other experiments on our YouTube channel. Otherwise, thank you much for watching.